Very special night here at Williams Stadium tonight. My name is Nick Pierce alongside former Flames offensive lineman Matt Camiri here for the Liberty Flames Sports Network. Football alumni reunion dinner here this evening and paying tribute to the 2007 Big South Conference Championship team, the very first conference championship in Liberty Flames football history. And Matt, certainly a very special night. We're going to talk all about it here. But uh, I know that it was really special for you, being that you were part of that team. It was, Nick. It was great to come back with all the guys. You know, I was just a redshirt freshman that year. Uh, didn't really play at all. I played in one game, I think. But to see the guys who really set the tone for me and my career here at Liberty, Fo Liberty at, for the football team, it was just great to reminisce with all these guys. They set the standard. They won the first Big South title. We've just been able to build from that every single season. Yeah, and a lot of those uh, guys were here tonight. The team was once again presented with the 2007 Big South Championship Trophy, and we had a chance to catch up with several of those former players here this evening. Being the first conference championship team, they laid the foundation for everything that we have now as coaches and, and the players that came after them. I mean, it's really those guys – uh, in the years before them that really set the foundation of winning and the tradition that we want to have here as a football program, uh, winning tradition and championships, they're the, really the ones that, that started that all. Just getting to meet everyone from the you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, guys post after that, I think that was just a great time to connect with everyone and kind of see uh, similarities and challenges, things that went differently throughout the years of the program. Oh, it's just awesome getting, getting to see all the guys um, you know that camaraderie you have as a as a team that you build. Uh, I just you, you know I can't explain how it's, but, but we're a family and you know we stay in touch and it's just great to see all all the guys uh, back again together. Yeah, I know the program's moving up the ranks, but uh, it was a special time in my life and a special time in a lot of these other guys' life um, just to be a part of that. Uh, I know we're moving on to bigger and better things, but. Uh, it's still pretty cool to be a part of uh, what's going on here and uh, definitely excited about the future. All right, very special night for a lot of the Flames, former Flames players here this evening. And also we had a chance to hear from one of the former head coaches, Morgan Hout, who guided the program to the 1AA level here back in the 80s. Morgan Hout presented with the Flames Foundation Award here. Very special night for him also. We brought it to 1AA and, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, – uh, you know, when, when I got up until this past year, we were still one double A here. So that's a long time. And, uh, but uh, I, I think it's going in the right direction. Uh, I was firmly impressed with uh, Turner and the football team last week. Matt, it's always good to look back and reflect on where the program has come from. Certainly there's a whole lot of excitement about where the program is going and the transition to FBS football, the big win over Baylor last week. But when you think back to that 2007 season, I mean, how special was it to be a part of some of those teams? I mean, Nick, it, it was it's an incredible experience. Like I said, I was very young on the team. I just joined the team. And a lot of these guys, like Eddie Pinegas, who we heard from, Stevie Ray Lloyd, Nick Hersky, these guys set the tone for what Liberty football is today. Uh, we were great. We were fortunate enough to have Coach Gill say a few words, and he reflected on that as well and, you know, said thank you to the, to the guys who have played before us and to our team since it is the 10, 10th anniversary of the 2007 championship. But just being a part of those teams, the intensity that we saw on the field every single day was amazing. Uh, these guys – came to play every single day, and they really did. It was It's not a cliche around these guys. These guys came out, they're what we like to call ballers, and they came out and, and hitting and just full go intensity every single day. And, and it lasted all season. We got down to Gardner-Webb, 31-0 victory for the first title. Team went 8-3 and three that year, 6-0 and at home, first conference title. And also we heard from the – the old ball coach tonight, Danny Rocco, had a few words to say uh, via video. Yeah, you know, Coach Rocco was was gracious enough to, to send us a video of him sort of some of his old cliches that he used to say to us in the locker room. We all owe Coach Rocco a ton. He influenced my life, uh, not only in 2007, but also until I graduated in, in 2010. And for these guys who came in, they had that 1-10 in 10 record. To get him to come back and they turned the team around to get him to come – he came in and turned the team around. It's just these guys, these guys worked hard. They saw, they saw the worst of the worst in Liberty football, and they brought it to its greatest moments. All right. Well, certainly a very special night here at Williams Stadium, and that 2007 championship team will also be recognized at the end of the first quarter here on Saturday night for the Flames home opener against Moorhead State, 6 p.m. inside Williams Stadium. For Matt Camiri, my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.